The struggles spill over in the streets. Relax, relax. Body cam clashes flashing across our screens. If you're in the class, come on over here. And in Manchester, you're looking to control them on the feet. This is how they're grappling with reality. What's the best and the least violent way to take care of this, where we don't escalate it beyond what it needs to be? Retired West Hartford Police Detective Rob Mago is continuing to go to the mat for the men and women of law enforcement. That with some training, you can be very controlled and your emotions are under attack and you can control someone. He just has a different approach. It's the officer survival series, but it's also known as de-escalation through confidence. We visited here before. If they control your head or your hips or your hands, they're controlling you. And at Manchester Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. There you go, good. Rob, a black belt and lead trainer, is teaching the latest evolution of the officer survival series. Think of all the videos you've seen where they're controlling a cop on their back. Essentially, it's designed to bring more calm during the most chaotic calls. I have all kinds of instructors from all over the place, and collectively as a unit, we're trying to change the culture of law enforcement and the culture of the training that they receive so that everyone is better off. From case law to department policy, the Officer Survival Series is an eight-day course meant to cover the bases. I could work it from right here. He could do the same thing. A lot of the focus centers around diffusing physical confrontation. Good. Don't let him grab your head. On this day, they're concentrating on what's called the clinch. And a lot of things that we're teaching them are grappling based versus striking based. All right, spread out. Let's go. One, two. If I get extremely close to you, the punches become ineffective. And that's what the clinch is. So the clinch ties somebody up and it limits the use of their strikes and it limits the power for which their strikes can be delivered to you. Seeing it's one thing. Feeling it, it changes minds. I it's mean, about leverage. It's leverage, it's angle, it's, it's understanding you know, where to put your weight, where not to put your weight. East Hartford officer Andre Liu is a trainer. The knowledge and also uh, extra sense of confidence that you can de-escalate a situation with just your words and if need be, you could use force and scale it, you know, just maybe holding someone down until help arrives or the ambulance shows up would suffice. CJ Delaney is from the Suffolk County, New York Sheriff's Office. Coming here to Connecticut, this puts wind in my sail. Good, don't stay down, don't stay down, you gotta posture up. And, and I have to say, Connecticut is light years ahead of New York when it comes to getting their officers trained. There are officers here from around the region. I angle outward, and strip. And some of the students are civilians. It's going to evolve much more similar to what happens in here when you're rolling and grappling. Seemingly with the same objective. It's time! To find that balance. In this school, I don't just train law enforcement. I have all kinds of regular everyday people that come through these doors. And I think being able to put them together in the same room where they can understand each other, they start to realize, oh, the cops aren't all bad. And the cops start to realize, oh, not everybody's out to get us. You know, it, they start to realize that they're on the same team. They just. They just haven't known it. In Manchester, Jim Altman, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.